Begin by loosening the 13mm airbox mounting bolt indicated by the red arrow. Next, loosen the intake boot hose clamp red arrow with your 7mm nut driver or flat blade screwdriver. You will only need to loosen the end that holds the airbox. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor wire harness. Squeeze the release lever on the connector, red arrow, and pull the connector up out of the airbox. To remove the airbox, you will rotate it using the intake boot as a pivot point. Once the airbox is rotated to this point in the picture, you will pull the airbox out of the air boot and up out of the engine compartment. You will need to push the upper part, blue arrow, towards the front of the car while continuing to rotate the box, yellow arrow, to get it out without scraping it on the edge of the engine compartment. With the airbox removed, make sure that the airbox mounting bushings, red arrows, are accounted for and properly seated in the sheet metal. You can see here that during the removal, one of the bushings was pulled out of place, blue arrow. Also, replace any broken wire holders for the oxygen sensor wires, yellow arrows. These are broken wires for the passenger side oxygen sensors, could rub on the power steering pulley, and cause check engine lights to come on in the future. With the air box on your work surface, loosen the nine Phillips head screws, red arrows, holding the air box together. Remove the lid of the airbox. Remove the old filter element and lay a new one in its place. Make sure you replace any broken wire holders, red arrows, if yours are broken. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.